What's up guys, it's Patriots Man here and I am back with another video. Today guys, we're going to be talking about a kickoff promo change that EA made a few days ago, I believe it was on Friday. So this has to do with the vanity tokens. Now after I go into this, I'll talk a little bit about what to do the rest of the kickoff promo. Of course we only have a few days left, I believe it goes till Thursday morning. So you're not, you don't have much time left to grind this promo, but let's go ahead and talk about it. So it goes along with the vanity tokens and as you guys know, I'm um, in this promo with the vanity tokens. When you go through and play all the events, you only get a lot of vanity tokens on stage number four. And as you guys know, stage number four, lots of overall locks, lots of pretty high overall locks in order to play these events. And the other events on stages one through three, they give vanity tokens, but not a lot of them. And for example, this one right here, play it 10 times, you get 20. The rest are 10 per day. If you just scroll all the way down to this stuff here, even this one uniform I have left, 1.4K vanity tokens. So it is a lot of vanity tokens to get and it was not obtainable for a lot of people. Now a way that EA tried to counteract this and I think it was a pretty good idea is they put a new offer inside the store. You go to the store um, for a hundred Madden caps I believe it is. You go over to kick off the section of the store there. You get 100 vanity tokens for 100 Madden caps. So to me that's a fairly decent conversion. It's not you know too expensive. Um, you're gonna get some vanity tokens for that. I mean most of the stuff in the store there's like a uh, uniform for 700 there in the trades. Um, there's like, you know, logos, banners, and that kind of stuff there is kind of cheap. So if you were short on vanity tokens, you could come through here and just get some extra vanity tokens. And it is a thing that I like about the promo. Is it going to make the kickoff promo like my, one of my favorite promos of the year? No, it's not. But in the end, um, hopefully they innovate with this vanity stuff throughout the promos. They said they're going to try to introduce uniforms and stuff throughout the year. And I think this is taking a good step because honestly, the vanity stuff was way too expensive, especially for a free to play player. You could not get very much in terms of vanity, but adding this for everyone is going to be really good for people to be able to get extra vanity tokens if they want to. So that's it for that. I hope they implement that kind of stuff throughout the rest of the promo in some sort of way. Give us a creative way to obtain these tokens if they're going to go through with giving us those vanity tokens that way. So let's talk about now what you should do the rest of the kickoff promo with only a few days left today, Tuesday and Wednesday. So with the events left in the promo, you guys can probably get yourself a good amount of kickoff tokens. I'd say what, roughly about around 15, 20,000 or so. I guess that's a good estimate, um, especially if you're free to play or whatever. Play a few events every single day. Um, play your stage three events. And besides that, um, what are you gonna do with your players, right? So you're probably not gonna have enough for, say, a, an Iconic if you're already, you know, far away from an Iconic. So what you could do, you could keep your Uncommons and your Rares. Um, you could keep Uncommons and try to use them in S1. So for like the S1 trades, you can go over to S1. If we go over here, go to the events, and in S1 with the trades and stuff, when you build your packs to get players down here, you could utilize your players from the kickoff promo in here if you wanted to. You could use them in core trades, or if you're really close to like an epic player in kickoff, maybe you can build an epic if it helps your team. But in terms of that, you're either going to build a player in kickoff, or you're going to hold off and save your players for other trades in the game. So I would make sure I play all the events the rest of the days. It does not hurt to get some extra value on the promo, even if you're not going to get a master, because still, you can get something other places in the game with your uncommons and your rare players. So that's going to do it for today's video. Um, that wraps up the kickoff promo for me. Um, I won't have any more kickoff promo videos, but overall in the promo, I don't know. I give it like a 6 out of 10, honestly, because it was like slightly, like very slightly better than Headliners and Campus Heroes due to the vanity stuff and the upgrades they made there. But it still was not that great of a promo, um, you know, not very resource friendly, not very economy friendly. So I'm hoping for some promos here in the future that are going to give us the ability to get more than one or two masters that are likely random if you got two. So I would say six out of 10, but let me know what you guys think. But that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.